Okay, I got a minus 6.5. One's pointed at the snow. I got 8 degrees pointed at the trailer. I got 8 degrees Fahrenheit. I pointed at a trash can. Got 8 degrees Fahrenheit again. I pointed at the house. 3 degrees. Thirty six degrees. Zero degrees. Minus ten. I got a minus ten degrees. Okay. See what our thermometer is showing. <sighs> 22. That's an ambient air temperature of 22. And I haven't even successfully gotten that with this thermometer yet by measuring anything. Minus 6 on the side of the garage. something else metal on the outside <clears throat> minus five twenty two twenty two degrees So anyway, that is my case for ambient temperature thermometers versus these infrared thermometers. They're good for the purpose, but since they are not designed to measure air temperature but object temperature, and even then it's not really object temperature that they're measuring, what they are measuring is the amount of infrared radiation coming off the object. And for those of you that don't realize, I'm going to shut the door here, you're not actually measuring the temperature, you're measuring the amount of infrared energy. So that could be different depending on if the object reflects a lot of infrared, you'll get a higher than the temperature even of the object itself, or if the object itself absorbs a lot of infrared radiation, you're going to get a temperature quite a bit lower than what it should be. So. Just a little experiment there to let you know.